Team captain linebacker Anthony Barr of the Minnesota Fighting Vikings are reportedly really close to agreeing to a contract restructure. It's going to keep double nickels in purple for 2021, reduce his cap hit, and make him a free agent in 2022. Everybody wins. Now, everyone and their mom is like, well, draft a linebacker. Time for the Vikings draft a linebacker now. Well, yeah. Yeah, but even before Barr's upcoming restructure, linebacker was a low-key need for the Vikings, considering 55 likely wouldn't be back on his existing 2022 deal anyway, where he was due a $12.4 million base salary, plus other linebacker, Will Linebacker, Eric Wilson's probably going to be gone in free agency. And if you look at the Vikings' current linebacking core, so you got Kendricks, all-world, all-everything. Please stay healthy. I will give you my calf. And then Anthony Barr, Troy Dye, uh, the rookie fourth-round pick in 2020 out of Oregon, who got to uh, got to play a little bit in 2020. Eh. The Ryan Connolly, uh, the former Badger, uh, former Eden Prairie. What, what are they? The Prairieites? Doesn't matter. Uh, coming over from the Giants, plus Blake Lynch, UDFA out of Baylor. Really nice uh, down the stretch, as well as Cameron Smith coming back from open-heart surgery. Going to kick somebody's ass. I love it. But it's pretty thin. It's pretty thin. Plus, with Barr probably gone in 2022 and Eric Hendricks turning 30 in February. Where's time go, by the way? And Troy Dye, TBD. Yeah, yeah. Look to draft some linebackers, especially with uh, Todd Davis, uh, the middle linebacker last year, signed up from the Broncos, probably going to leave in free agency, which kind of sucks. I would have loved uh, Todd Davis back. Of course, Eric Wilson, whatever. Now, we say draft. Uh, not really into signing free agent linebackers because young and cheap just does not happen in the market where either you get old and cheap, you get injured and cheap, you get, I don't know, arrested and cheap, or you get young and expensive. And the latter is not what the Vikings need to be into as of right now. Uh, and the draft is intriguing. So obviously, uh, Micah Parsons is 1-1, the number one off-ball linebacker in this class. And he could really fall to 14, uh, potentially with some of his off-the-field stuff. Uh, but there's also not a big premium put on off-ball linebackers as of yet. Now, maybe Devin White uh, of the Buccaneers, who was taken number five overall in 2019 and was debatably the Super Bowl MVP, definitely playoffs MVP for the Bucs. That could certainly change the calculus. And then number two, Jeremiah Uzukoromora, undersized, uh, a little bit more of a safety linebacker hybrid, but an absolute sub-package beast, plus he lays the wood and his phenomenal coverage skills. Zayvon Collins is the guy that I'm really intrigued by. Coming out of Tulsa and six foot four, two sixty, he is a similar size to Anthony Barr, and he has phenomenal coverage skills. We've said rough draft comparisons. You have the size of Anthony Barr with the coverage skills and tenacity of Eric Hendricks, which... It would be okay. It would be okay. Jabril Cox, uh, the wretched senior from LSU, 6'3", 233. Great in coverage skills. Can also bring the wood. Uh, formerly at NDSU, was uh, All-American team captain, uh, tackles leader uh, for the Bison. And Rick Spielman was at the NDSU Pro Day. And part of it could be for Trey Lance as well as tackle Dylan Raddons. But part of it could be, hey, talking to admins, talking to coaches about, hey, what's Jabril Cox like? Hmm, uh, doing that legwork. And then Bolton, McGron, uh, Jamin Davis is a name to look out for because 6'4", 224, a little bit lighter than Anthony Barr, uh, but a guy that certainly could stand up if he added some good weight at that strong side linebacker position for the Vikings because, like we said, Anthony Barr is a very unique uh, player uh, being that long and being that heavy and being that quick uh, at a 4'3", strong side linebacker. And then you got Baron Browning, Dylan Moza, Chats, Rott, etc. So there's a lot of talent on board at linebacker in the draft. So don't be shocked if the Vikings come away day one, day two uh, with a linebacker. And especially if the Vikings check a couple boxes in free agency at other positions of need. You look at defensive tackle, safety, or especially if they land one, if not two, starting caliber offensive guards uh, in this upcoming free agent class. And they would be freed up to go Micah Parsons at 14 if he's indeed at the top of their draft board. Or uh, they could trade up, well, they could trade down for 14 after the, at the back end of the first. A guy like Zayvon Collins or Nick Bolton or even Jabril Cox is all of a sudden really intriguing. Or if the Vikings trade up in the second round, you got Cox, you got Bolton, you got Davis, etc. So linebacker, which was a low key need for the Vikings even before the Anthony Barr restructure, is now a high key need. And I, I think that the Vikings would be a very well served to take one earlier on in the draft so get it done but your thoughts vikings linebacker draft need let us know in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes Want to support that work post on the Venmo. but until next time skull production value